I actually forgot to show you Seb's daily. This is what he is using to get around Dubai at the moment because he doesn't have a normal driver's license because he is still 14 years old. So this is currently what he is driving. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a very echoey lobby. We are on the 17th floor of our apartment building and today is the apartment tour and garage tour where we're going to be staying here for the next seven days whilst we're in Dubai. You would have seen yesterday a little sneak preview, but I've got the key here, so let's open it up. So it's as simple as this, we've got like two doors here, which is crazy. And in we go. It becomes a lot less echoey as you come in, but this is what we're greeted with, a welcome area and also a living space which comes complete with TV and speakers and a Shmi 150 Hi. down in the lobby. And then we've got like a dining area here. This is absolutely massive. There's no real way of giving you this perception of just how big it is, apart from the fact that there's the mirror over there and that's how small I am um, on the mirror. Look at Tim, do that again. This is, your, this is Tim's wingspan. <laughs> <laughs> this is how big the apartment is. If you look down there, all the way down there is my room, and all the way down there on a completely different time zone is Tim's room. So we'll start with my room. Just driving past outside and looking at how this is like the full width of the building, and the building it, is not exactly small. It is crazy. We've got three balconies. Three balconies overlooking the marina. We are facing inland. The sea is that way. And we'll start with the first toilet area, which... Um, is a toilet area. There's no real need to explain much more. Here we go into the kitchen, which um, has got some healthy breakfasts, a microwave, a sink, an oven, and other kitchen amenities. And there we go. This is the view um, that is just skyscrapers and the marina. And we have got one of the main roads down below that has supercars driving down it all day long. And we've come into this room, which is an ironing room by the looks of it, and a shower. Probably the weirdest room in the house. And look, there you go, there's the main road. I hope that whilst we are filming this video, that supercars are driving up and down so that I can show you guys. And then we come into my bedroom. So let's start with drawing the curtains so you can see it a little bit better. And I apologize for the mess. So here we go. This is the view that I have, which is utterly incredible. And then this is my room. I've got two twin beds, which I've just bunched together to try and make a double bed. And, um, well, as you walk in from this door here, you walk in, you've got a lovely mirror here. You've got another lovely mirror here and another lovely mirror here. Um, but it's a bath, shower, toilet, ensuite, which is unbelievable. And then we come into here, the bedroom, which you would have already seen. So that is pretty cool. I'm just going to try and film down here to see whether there is any supercars. But right now, I don't think there is. So we will move on. And what I'm going to do now is try and work out the length of this apartment. So I'm going to count my steps and guess in meters. Oh, there's a gold chrome Maserati. Zoom in. Looks satin gold chrome. Have you literally just got the convenience of while filming car spotting from the window? Yep, yeah, which happens all of the time here. Look there, up there yeah, in, yeah, in the traffic. I'm going to walk like this. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 28, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, about 50 yards, I would say. And this is Tim's room. It is absolutely massive. So you walk in at this door here, you've got like a walk in wardrobe and ensuite there. And then this is Tim's bachelor pad. And Tim's got a really nice, um, Balcony there, which can we go up? Yeah, let's go up. Let's go up. Here we go. Look at that swimming pools down there, swimming pools over there, over there. Any supercars in traffic? Yeah, there's a Ferrari California. It's ridiculous how many cars we're spotting in the balconies. I'm coming back in and carrying on with some of the rooms. So we've got Seb's room in here. Seb's not feeling very well at the moment, so he's in bed yeah. at like three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Um, and he's. 
shower. He's got an ensuite. Oh, really? Yeah, look at the view from my shower. Yeah, nice. Very nice. A mirror? Um, oh yeah, I'm still in your room. I was going to walk and carry on. We've got a really nice room here, which, as you can see, is just a room for activities. Many activities can happen in this room. Another bathroom. So how many bathrooms have we got? Six bathrooms? Five. We've got five bathrooms and four bedrooms. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And the last one is... This is Sam's room. What's going on? Um, I'm doing a house tour. Oh, cool. What, what video editing? Uh, today's... I don't care. <laughs> so you can cast bot from here. I've got a balcony. I'm the only one that hasn't got a balcony. Oh, really? Yeah, but I prefer that because I'm scared of heights. So. Uh. Every room in this house is incredibly spacious. We've got more bathrooms that are necessary. We've got a huge kitchen. We've got 50 yard walk from one side to the other. So between me and Tim's room, it is about, well, I don't even know how long it is, but I'm still walking to my room now. So that is how long it takes. It's absolutely huge. I cannot believe how big this place is. I was not expecting it. Tim booked it, um, and I just, I didn't even look at any pictures. So I'm blown away by not only the view, but also the sort of incredible facilities that we've got here. So let's head downstairs into the garage and check out the cars that we have whilst we're here in Dubai. <laughs> So and here we are, we are down in the garage. So this is where we're staying for the next seven days. And as you can tell, we've got a few guests here at the moment. They're just coming to check out some of the cars that are in our garage um, here in Dubai. So let's just flip the camera around and check out some of the cars that we've got for our visit here in Dubai. So like, there's quite a lot of people here at the moment. It is open to the public. We do allow, or, I mean, Tim allows the public here. I probably personally wouldn't. Um, but we've got the 177 here, which um, a lot of people have been saying, get an Aston. So here it is, here's the Aston. And then we move over to the LaFerraris, both in the same spec. And that is because when we like to convoy, we like to convoy in the same cars. So we've got both LaFerraris here like that, which is pretty crazy. I actually forgot to show you Seb's daily. This is what he is using to get around Dubai at the moment because he doesn't have a normal driver's license because he is still 14 years old. So this is currently what he is driving and uh, me, Sam and Tim have access to all of these cars to just cruise around in. Right, okay, that isn't our actual garage. But what we do have is two Cadillacs, which you would have seen from our video. So we've got the CTSV here, which is an absolute animal supercharged V8 ridiculous car super quick and I've actually driven this car and it is awesome we've also got the ATSV which I'm yet to drive at the moment um, but they are both very very playful and awesome looking cars and just awesome incredible cars so there we have it hopefully you've enjoyed this house tour or apartment tour with our garage as well so thank you for watching make sure that you subscribe if you haven't and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for some more pretty awesome Dubai and Abu Dhabi content cheers guys Peace. Oh yes, oh my god, <laughs> this thing is insane, wow, this is aggressive, oh my god, this thing is cool, carbon fibre, carbon fibre, and then this is the ATSV. So how about this, for two cars whilst we're out here, oh I don't want to get run over there but, oh, or run over here, Woo, I'm getting run over everywhere. So we're just getting all of the paperwork signed and just a bit of an introduction, cool, bit of an introduction, this is a turbocharged V6 in this car and this is aimed at the BMW M3 M4, however this is not available in the UK, it is available worldwide, just not in the UK. And then this beast, the CTSV, is kind of like the BMW M5 E63 rival, and it has got 
uh, V8 